Okay, boys, where are we? We're at my new house. Are you ready to go see the new house? Yes. Oh boy, we've been loading lots of boxes into it. You ready to go see it? Yes. Okay. Okay, go inside. Open the door. Uh. Oh. Where are we? New house. We made it. Look at all these boxes everywhere, you guys. It is, oh my gosh, we have so much work to do. But we are here. We made it and, um, oh, Gray, let Felix out. I need to, um, I need to show you guys the house. I need to do an empty house tour, which I will do. Um, let me unload my car, cause I packed it with like all our stuff we've been using at my parents' house. Now that we're gonna officially be here. Sorry, I was pulling in the Porter's lawnmower. Let me do that and then I will give you guys an empty-ish tour, I guess. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I um, come back on. So give me a second. Okay, I unloaded stuff from my car. It's kind of all over, but I wanna give you guys a empty house tour. It's not really empty. And the reason I say that is because we've been slowly all week. Well, we've had the key since Wednesday and today is um, Friday. We've been slowly like every day bringing more boxes of stuff over. And then we, bought some of the furniture that the people offered to sell us. So a lot of that's still in the house too. But I will show you guys what we're working with. So right now I'm standing at the front door. So when you're standing at the front door, this is what you see. There's like this little, we bought this, a mirror, um, a mirror and a flower and a little like table. We'll see how long this glass table lasts. I could see the boys knocking it over. Porter actually almost did just a little bit ago. Um, okay, but to the right, there's stairs going up and then there's doors over here. This is into the kitchen and then this, okay, so the people who previously lived here, they had this as a front room and um, we don't really want a front room. Um, we'd rather have an office instead of a front room. So what we did is we actually, we bought their dining room set because it's nice and we don't have a nice one. And we're actually gonna make this first room the dining room. So we're gonna put like a couple more things in here, but we already moved the dining table into here. This room right here is what used to be the dining room. You can see it like connects to the front room and then it also connects to the kitchen so what we're gonna do i'll move in here so you guys can see okay i'm standing in the corner of the what used to be the dining room we're actually going to make this anthony's office so what we're going to do is we're going to build a wall and like close this whole wall off and then we're going to put in a door here and then this is going to be anthony's office and we really like it anthony works from home um, and so it just makes sense and we hate front rooms or at least I do. So we're just going to change it and that's not a bad thing. So we'll probably like change this little light fixture here and put something like a little more office looking here. And then what used to be the front room, which is now our dining room, it doesn't have an overhead light. So I want to put one in. Um, so we're going to do that. Moving on. Sorry, I didn't turn any of the lights on. Here's the kitchen. Let me turn the lights on. Okay, ignore ignore how bad this is. I know it's like so, so um, messy because we're just bringing everything in. But here's our kitchen. I absolutely loved it. They actually just recently redid this kitchen and so we get to benefit from it. So there's like this nice like island with like a little waterfall slab over it. Tons of kitchen cabinets everywhere. The backsplash is super cute. Um, a nice sink, all the appliances, the dishwasher is like 2020, and then the oven, microwave, and refrigerator are like 2018, so they're all like brand new. Um, we actually have a pantry, and I am so excited. I already started like putting a couple things in it. So excited for a pantry. All of these under cabinet, under the cabinets have under lights, and so they light up at night, and I love it. That's so nice. And um, we bought like all the drapes. They like were selling all of them for 150, so it was a really good deal. 
Um, right here off the kitchen, this is gonna be a little like kitchen nook. We need to buy a kitchen table because we don't have one, but that's where that's gonna go. Also off the kitchen, it's kind of a weird spot, but this is the laundry room. So we didn't bring over our laundry room set yet, but this is where like the dryer will go and the washer. They left like a little kitchen sink here and then overhead is like where we'll put bins and um, storage and stuff. And also cutest thing ever, the laundry room has a laundry chute. So the boys can throw their clothes down and it will come right into the laundry room. I don't know if I told you guys about this in the last house, but in our la old house, we had a laundry chute too. So I'm so excited that we get to like keep that laundry chute um, feature. I just, I think it's so fun. Also in between the kitchen and the front room, there is a bathroom. So really simple, just a sink and a toilet, which we need to add toilet paper. Okay, so back in the kitchen, off the kitchen nook, then comes the living room. So here's our living room. It's big, I love it. Gas fireplace, so all we do is flick on a switch and it's so cool. These built-in cabinets, which is why we don't need our entertainment stand anymore, so nice. And it's vaulted ceiling, so it makes the room feel huge. And there's a cute little balcony from upstairs that if you're upstairs, you can like lean over and see. I think it's so cute. It makes the room feel huge. Um, these were actually the front room furniture that we bought from the people. We're using them as our couch for now this until one. we get enough money to buy a new couch. Okay, in a second, okay. Um, I'll show you guys outside. Here's a back door to get outside. Okay. Outside. So here is outside. We have this nice huge patio with this huge wall, which is so cool and so nice. And then here's our backyard. We have like a line of trees that keep um, a little bit of privacy between us and our back door neighbor. And then also we are a corner lot. And so um, we don't have any neighbor on this side. We just have a back door neighbor and then a side neighbor, which again, we have nice like privacy um, bushes and stuff, a lot of landscaping that we're gonna have to do. Um, so that'll be interesting. Also the AC and the furnace are like 2020. So they're brand new. So. Um, we're really pumped about all the nice features of this house. It looks like they left us their tiki lights, so that's fun for night. And then they also have like a ring camera that we get to use, and they have a camera inside too, so we'll have to figure out how to work it. But this is our backyard. There's no HOA, so we can put a fence in, we could put a um, swing set in, we could put a shed in, so lots of ideas. I don't know that it's as big of a backyard as our old house, but to have the side yard, it makes it feel like we have a lot more space. It's just a lot of mulch. There's a lot of more mulch here than what we're used to. But yeah, this is our patio. So we'll bring out our table and chairs and the kids picnic table and we'll fill it out. And we really like it. Okay, so we finished the first floor and now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs to the second floor. So again, here's the front door. You just turn and immediately there are stairs going up. So we go up these stairs. Again, we bought these curtains. They're so soft and nice. And we have these cute little alcoves. There's one here, one here, and then um, down the stairs here, there's one here. Not sure what I'm gonna put in these things, but I gotta figure something out. But anyway, we're going up, up, up the stairs. You're gonna show everybody. So here's the landing. It's very nice and open. It makes the upstairs feel really, really nice. Um, our front entryway is like two stories, so it feels huge. And we have a sh chandelier, like how stinking fancy are we? So that is so cool. So anyway, you go up. And there's four bedrooms in this house. Again, here's the balcony looking over into the living room like I showed you guys. So when you first come up the stairs, if you turn immediately, this is the guest bath or the boys bath. This is where we're gonna be doing bath time for the boys. Really nice tiled wall shower, um, splash bathtub, sink, sink and then potty. So it's perfect, it's nice, it's big, it's it's great, it's perfect what we need. There's a linen closet here 
for us to store all of our linen closet. Then next is a bedroom. And we are gonna make this Grayson's room. And pour those. Grayson, are you excited? This is your new room. So this is Grayson's room. We picked it because it seems like it's the biggest um, bedroom other than the master. And eventually we're gonna move these two boys in with each other and do bunk beds or something like that. But right now we're, we still have Porter in a crib. So he's gonna stay in his crib for now. But once he gets a little bigger, we will move the boys in together and have bunk beds. But for now, this is Grayson's room. He's trying to figure out the lights, aren't you? There you go, there's the yeah. light. All right, and then, like I said, here's the balcony. Then we have the next bedroom, and before we get into there, this is the laundry chute that connects down to the laundry room, so it's so awesome. But this is the next bedroom. We are gonna use this as the guest room. Um, we're gonna put a bed in there. It's just a cute little room. Um, oh, all the rooms have closets. Sorry, I didn't show you, but they're all basically the same nice closets and all the rooms have overhead lighting which is so nice i might go and like replace some of the overhead lighting because some of it's kind of like cheap and dated but just to have overhead lighting is amazing <laughs> porter is playing with felix we brought felix over for the first time and he is exploring um after that so then we have these two bedrooms so this room right here we think is the smallest bedroom so we're going to use this as porter's room and his nursery or a nursery so this is going to be porter's room we've got tons of stuff in here already it's got an overhead light it's nice the carpet is nice and then it's got a little closet in here so here we go nice closet Sorry, Porter is having too much fun. So this is Porter's room. And then finally upstairs, we have the master. So here's the master bedroom. This is gonna be where Anthony and I sleep. So it's a nice big room, big window, vaulted ceilings. So we got a overhead light and a fan. So very nice. Now, the <laughs> one of the interesting things about this house is it has like an ensuite bathroom. So there's no door separating the master bedroom from the master bathroom. I'm not sure how we're going to like that, but we're gonna live with it and see what we think. And if worse comes to worse, we will pay a contractor to close it. But this is um, what we've got right now. So super fancy, there's a gas fireplace and it's double-sided. So there's this open side here and an open side in the master bath. So you can like turn the fire on like this and uh, create the romance. <laughs> so kind of interesting. Um, our old house had a wood fireplace and we never used it. So we'll see if we use these fireplaces. But in here is the master bath. So here is the uh, huge tub that I could use to bathe the kids or if Anthony wanted to take a bath or I want to take a bath. Nice huge tub, which we never had in our old house double sinks, um, the, ca the countertops are kind of meh, but it's fine. Nice huge mirror, a nice little medicine mirror too. I think that's what you call it, medicine cabinet, medicine mirror. And then right out the tub is the other side of the fireplace. And then there's a window. There's a water closet, I guess, as you would say. So there is a door to the bat or to the toilet. So I guess there is a door, but everything else is wide open. So like if we're taking a shower, which look at the shower, look at the shower head. It's so fancy and I'm so pumped. It has a ledge that I can put my foot on to shave. I'm so excited. But I mean, if you take a shower, like you are totally open to the rest of the room. So we're going to have to keep our door closed a lot. Um, and then also there's a master closet. It's not the biggest, I won't lie. Um, it's kind of small. It's definitely not as big as what we used to have, but we will make do. So there's just like rack and then shelves on the other side of the door. So we'll make do with it. Um, but yeah, it's just super exciting. Um, 
as you guys can tell, like it's a huge step up from our old house. So we are so excited about this. It has an ADT system. So anytime anybody opens or closes a door, it dings, which is awesome when you have kids that are always getting out when you don't want them to. There's like dimmer lights on everything. Every Almost every room has an overhead light except for the front room, which hopefully we will change. Sorry, I'm going through and like turning off all these lights. The kids just like turning them all on. Okay, we're gonna show you guys the last part of the house and that is the basement. So this house actually comes with a finished basement, which we are so excited about because our old house, it, we did have a basement, but it was not finished and it was very scary. So we're very excited that we actually have a basement. So I'll show you guys again, we have the front door you got the stairs and then this door here is the basement before i get to that i'll just show you guys this door right here is a front hall closet this right here is our garage see every time you open a door sorry our garage is like totally full but here's our garage standard two car garage best thing ever is it's got just one um garage door so there's no like pull in between we are so happy about that so there's our garage it's currently storing all of our stuff and now we will show you guys the basement so go downstairs let's show them let's show them the basement so we go down these stairs you turn around and you go down some more stairs the boys have already taken it over because this is where the playroom is going to be now in the basement so immediately to your right coming down the stairs we have a mini fridge and a uh, microwave this used to be our old microwave but now we have a new one so we don't need it um here is under the stair storage so either we're going to use it for storage or we could turn it into like a playhouse for the boys which would be kind of fun so we'll see what we decide to do with it and then right across from the stairs right here is our big storage so this is where all of our storage is. We have a huge crawl space and our old crawl space was really scary. It was like on rocks. This one's like paved and all the walls are like insulated and it just looks really nice. So we've already started storing stuff down here. This is like seasonal decorations, my wedding dress, newborn stuff that we don't need right now and different things like that. Also, we bought from the previous people a deep freezer, so that's really exciting because I feel like our freezer is always so packed. Uh, Felix's stuff is going to be down here, so that's why his litter box is there. I don't know where the kitty went. And then after the stairs, there's a little bar area here. We bought the bar stool, so we have a little nice seating here. Um, we bought a pool table from them. I really didn't want to get it because I thought it took up too much space, but Anthony told me we had to get it. So we are owners of a pool table now. I think we only paid like $250 for it. It was actually a really, really good deal. And so we have that. And also there's a ping pong insert that goes on top. So that's fun. And then around here, this is kind of like a TV entertainment stand. So we'll probably put a TV on there. And then I think kind of what we decided to do, I'll go on the side. So this side of the basement is gonna be playroom. We're gonna get rid of this. We bought this because my sister and her husband wanted it. So this is all gonna be playroom. And then I told Anthony, this side of the room is going to be his man cave because he's got the mini fridge, which he said is just gonna have beer, the microwave, uh, the bar area, and the pool table. This is, um, my brother's girlfriend she wanted that so we're gonna get rid of that but yes this is our basement it's actually really big really nice very open so we're very excited and also what's awesome about this basement is it has a bathroom a full bathroom down here so there's a toilet and a shower and a sink and some shelves so really really nice this is so awesome and that's basically our house so that's kind of an empty tour house tour i you know you understand why i'm doing the asterisks i mean it's an empty tour but it's not because we brought stuff in and we bought furniture from the old people but this is what we're starting with so as we go i'm sure i will vlog and show you guys like 
where we put things. Like I said, we're waiting to buy like a couch and a kitchen table until we sell our old house. Hopefully we sell it this weekend, but I'm not sure. You know, over time, we're just gonna keep bringing more and more stuff from our old house and filling out all the space here. So we're going from about a, a 2,100 square foot home to about a 3,000 square foot home. So it's definitely bigger because the basement is finished. It feels bigger. And so we're just so excited for this upgrade. I'm so excited that I finally got to show you guys. The boys are just making themselves at home. They have gone out all their toys. As you can see, they're just making quite a mess. Um, but it's nice that we're gonna have the toys hidden downstairs now. So we're happy about that. We gotta go start putting stuff away. So everybody's gonna come over in about 30 minutes to see our house because some of my siblings want to see it. Um, and so I need to put some stuff away so the house looks decent. So I'm gonna go and do that, but I will definitely vlog soon. I just don't know when. So stay tuned, but thank you for seeing my empty house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any ideas with any of the space. I am not a decorator. I'm not creative like that. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. I'm so pumped because this house is basically like a grayish bluish on the walls. So we don't have to paint it at all, which is like the last thing I wanted to do because we painted our whole old house. So I'm so happy. It needs like hardly any work. So yay, I'm so excited for us. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, Grayson's going to bed in his new room for the first time. We have a blow-up mattress because our bed is still at the old house, but this will do for now, huh? You're gonna go to sleep in your new room. Are you so excited? Yes. Boxes everywhere. That's how it is, huh? Don't suck your fingers. Okay, good night, Grayson. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Okay, Porter's gonna go to bed in his new room. He's in the pack and play because his crib is still at the old house. Boxes everywhere, just like Gray Gray's room, but the pack and play will work for now, huh? Yeah, you can go night night. Okay, lay down. He's a party boy. It's 8.30, an hour past his bedtime, and he's a party boy. Yeah, you go night night. I love you. No. <laughs> okay, night night.